Welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm James Carter. Today, we're going to delve into the critical management of ventricular tachycardia, a topic of immense importance for all healthcare providers. Our discussion will center on a structured approach to treatment, ensuring optimal patient outcomes. First and foremost, in hemodynamically unstable patients, immediate electrical cardioversion is the cornerstone of therapy. For biphasic defibrillators, the recommended energy range is 100 to 200 joules. If a monophasic device is available, a higher energy of 200 to 360 joules should be utilized. Prompt cardioversion can rapidly restore sinus rhythm and stabilize the patient. Moving on to pharmacologic interventions, lidocaine is a well-established antiarrhythmic for ventricular tachycardia. The initial bolus dose is 1.0 to 1.5 mg per kilogram. This can be followed by repeat boluses of 0.5 to 0.75 mg per kilogram, up to a maximum total dose of 3 mg per kilogram. Following successful conversion or stabilization, a continuous infusion of lidocaine at 1 to 4 mg per minute can be initiated to prevent recurrence. Next, we have procainamide. When considering procainamide, the typical starting dose is 10 mg per kilogram administered intravenously over 20 minutes. The infusion can then be continued at a rate of 30 to 50 mg per minute until the dysrhythmia is terminated or up to a maximum dose of 18 mg per kilogram. It's crucial to monitor the patient closely for adverse effects, particularly hypotension and QTC prolongation during procanamide administration. Finally, amiodarone stands as another vital agent in the management of ventricular tachycardia. The recommended bolus dose for amiodarone is 150 mg intravenously over 10 minutes. Following the bolus, a continuous infusion of 1 mg per minute intravenously for 6 hours is typically initiated, followed by a maintenance infusion of 0.5 mg per minute for the subsequent 18 hours. Remember to monitor for potential side effects such as bradycardia, hypotension, and liver function abnormalities. In summary, the treatment of ventricular tachycardia demands a systematic approach. Electrical cardioversion takes precedence in unstable patients. For pharmacologic management, lidocaine, procainamide, and amiodarone each play a crucial role with specific dosing and administration protocols that must be adhered to. Always remember to assess the patient's hemodynamic status continuously and tailor your treatment strategy accordingly. That concludes today's episode of Emergency Insights. Thank you for joining me, James Carter, and I look forward to our next discussion on critical care topics. Stay safe and keep up the excellent work.